Alexa, take out the trash. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another IoT tutorial. It's been a while. I haven't done a tutorial. I have been busy working on different projects. So today I have a very exciting project for you. This is Alexa taking out the trash. So this is a part one uh, garage door augmentation. So basically the idea is to uh, modify the garage door and a trash can. And each of them should be able to uh, communicate with each other. Also, we should be able to uh, control them with Alexa, giving a command like uh, open garage door one or two or take out the trash. So idea is when I give it a command to um, Alexa, take out the trash, it should open up a garage door and uh, drive the trash can outside and bring it on a curved side right here. So the next uh, thing is once the uh, trash can is parked, uh, trash pickup is going to happen and once this happens uh, trash can is going to detect that it's emptied out and it's gonna drive itself back and actually before it does that it's gonna ask the garage door to open and the garage door gonna tell it communicate back and say it is already open or it is opening it so once it get the confirmation from garage door it's gonna drive it back uh, to its uh, original spot and then the garage door will close so here the communication is, this is how it's going to work. Uh, this is a high level. Um, this is the first tutorial, so we'll probably go into more details once we start working on these projects. But I wanna just kind of visualize it to see how everything is gonna work. So once, uh, so idea is I wanna say, Alexa, take out the trash. So Alexa is gonna take that command and process it. And then it's gonna send that command from the cloud to the trash can. So once the trash can receives the command, uh, it's going to go and talk to the garage door opener, which is going to be implemented using Node MCU. And it's going to say, uh, open the garage door. And the Node MCU is going to say, OK, hold on. It's going to go and check with the sensor to get a physical uh, verification that if the garage door open or closed, if the garage door is open it's gonna come back and uh, verification and it is gonna tell the trash can the garage door open and uh, go ahead and drive yourself on the curbside if it the sensor detects that it is closed it's gonna send then a signal to relay uh, briefly to switch on and off and trigger the garage door opener to open the garage door so while it's doing that trash can is going to wait for the confirmation. Once the garage door is open and it is detected uh, by node MCU using the sensor, it's gonna let the trash can know that it is open and now you can start driving. So here are a few of the things uh, you will need. Uh, you will need a ultrasonic sensor module, a node MCU, um, a relay. I'm using a single relay. Uh, single channel relay. Uh, you could use a uh, dual channel if you want to control both garage doors. Uh, the, all the plumbing in the code is there, but I have not tested out. But it should work with the with a little bit of effort. Also needs um, some bunch of breadboard wires, um, Alexa dot or Echo, and a micro USB cable. And also you need a five volt uh, cell phone adapter and and the wire. So in this series, this is on a high level, this is what you're going to be learning. So we're going to be doing device to device communication, maybe using JSON or some other method. Maybe we're going to be using I2C protocol, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm using it right now for my trash can. But in the final version, we we'll probably go through different things, uh, experimenting it to figure out what works best for us. We're going to be doing implementing uh, a PID controller to control the wheel movement and make sure that we can drive it in a straight line and, and, and you know turn left, right, backward, whatever, and make sure that uh, we're able to drive it uh, correctly. 
we're going to take a full size trash can which is 64 i think gallon uh we're going to modify that take the wheels off put the hoverboard wheels on uh we're going to install the two hoverboard motors on the trash can they have a lot of torque so they should be able to pull the trash can uphill or downhill we're going to augment the garage door to be controlled by alexa so we should be able to control it uh, saying open garage door one or two or close it and also uh, at the same time the same uh, electronics should be able to talk to the trash can and then back and forth um, we're going to augment the trash can to communicate with Alexa and garage door we're going to install sensors to make trash can fully autonomous uh, then we're going to set up a trash out uh, schedule with voice command so that's basically the idea you know uh, every week when your trash is picked up so you can say you know Alexa uh, schedule a trash out for every Wednesday or every Thursday or whatever and it, then it should you shouldn't have to worry about it it's gonna automatically in routine every week it's gonna put itself out and then bring it back and you can all of course you'll be able to write override the schedule with your voice command trash out assistant from the smart device um, that's got something to do with uh, we're gonna have to install a video camera and uh, uh, if it is stuck it cannot uh, move uh, from a garage door because you have a car parked or some other issues and all this stuff uh, it's gonna page you on your phone and you'll be able to guide it through your phone and you'll be able to see the uh, front view image of the trash can and you should be able to just tilt your cell phone and drive it to the park at curbside so here's a very simple diagram of uh, uh, connecting the uh, garage door uh, sensor and relay. So basically, uh, you look at the ground gets connected to any of the ground. It doesn't matter here or there. Uh, the echo pin will be D2. And uh, you can change it to any pin. It doesn't matter. But if you do change it here, make sure you update the sketch. Uh, but I'm using this configuration, so if you use this configuration, you just need to uh, upload the sketch don't, without modifying anything. And the trigger pin will go into D1, and the VCC will go into this connector. So you have to solder a wire right here, um, because the, the other pins, they have like 3.3 uh, volts because of this voltage regulator. So we need five volts to drive this on the 3.3 volts. It's not stable. It doesn't work. Uh, uh, so for me, at least it didn't work. So once I use the uh, five volt connector from here, uh, it is fine. Uh, working fine and we don't need to worry about it but I think the node MCU uh, GPIOs are 5 volt tolerant so uh, I'm at least I'm not having any issues it's working like a charm and it's working you know there's no issues at all so next you need to connect to relay so you take your negative and you connect to any ground uh, pin and you take the signal connect it to D0 and the uh, 5 volt uh, 5 volt goes from there to the positive O'Hara on the relay and this is basically a very simple setup so this is how you need to connect your I'm using the breadboards to connect these um, you know female to female breadboard wires to connect all of this stuff on the uh, these two poles we're gonna connect a long wire uh, these poles by default they're open uh, so I'm going to connect a long wire that goes into the garage door opener. It's going to connect uh, these two poles briefly and then unconnect them. And this way it will trigger the garage door open and close. So here I have a single channel relay hooked up uh, with the breadboard wires and the speaker wires. And also um, it is connected to this Node MCU. Here is the uh, ultrasonic sensor and the 5 volt uh, phone charger and a wire that we're going to need for this tutorial. Here I'm going to cut male to male breadboard wires for the um, garage door opener. So you cut it in half and connect it to the long wire that is going to hook up to the relay. These two wires get connected to the relay poles and this goes into the garage door uh, switch. You guys need to go to this GitHub page and uh, download uh, this. Um, sketch for your garage door right here. I will add the links in the video description below. 
and uh, these are all the files that you would need just download it you need to open this file up in Arduino IDE and it should automatically load all these files uh, once you download and open the sketch in Arduino IDE if you have the same gateway and subnet like mine you can go ahead and start flashing it uh, to your node MCU otherwise you need to make the change and the IP address should be that any available IP address on your network you don't have to modify anything else at all so we're going to be setting this up using a Wi-Fi manager. So once it is uh, flashed, you should see a similar uh, screen. And after that, uh, you need to go into your cell phone and look for uh, NetMedia AP and connect to it. And it's going to connect, take a little bit, a uh, few seconds. And once it's connected, click on the manage router. And after that, it's going to take you to this screen and click configure Wi-Fi button and then put in your uh, SSID name and password and connect. And after that, it's going to show you on the screen the Wi-Fi and the connecting. And it should say if it fails, just reset it and it should be able to connect. And then you can see that it's connected. So once it's connected, you're going to see a similar uh, screen right there where it's reading up the, the garage door and all that stuff in here. And by default, since there's no setting, uh, it's going to say connecting Wi-Fi. You should see a similar prompt once it's successfully connected. So once you enter the password username, you may not see it connecting failing. You just reset it by pressing the reset button on the node MCU. And then you can go in on the web browser on your PC and type in this, your IP address index.html. And then in the garage door one, you're gonna see in the second, it says connecting and it's gonna, uh, it's gonna say, you know, zero or some number and a close status. So basically you don't have anything set up yet. It's the first time. So what you need to do is you click calibrate garage door. And this is well you have you install the uh, garage door uh, sensor and everything else you do that and it's going to automatically calibrate it and uh, you need to do this while your garage door is open and it's going to measure the distance between your garage door and the sensor and it's going to save it in the memory so you don't have to do it over and over again. So here I'm opening my garage door opener and I want to test it out. Uh, that which two wires are gonna control the garage door open and close. I traced it uh, uh, from the wall, uh, wall plate back to this. So I'm using male to male breadboard wire to test that out to make sure those are the two wires that I need to connect to my uh, garage door opener circuit. And I'll test it open and close. So each time you uh, short it, it's gonna either open or close based on the current position. So it's opening now and I'm going to probably show you this from a different angle so it's a little more clear. Uh, so on this angle you can see the left red and then the white wire are the ones I'm shortening with this male to male wire. So when I uh, push these in uh, it's going to short it and then it's going to trigger the garage door to close. And once it's closed if I uh, short it again it's going to uh, open the garage door again. So you need to just do the same thing what I'm doing. Just trace it from your wall uh, uh, switch uh, to back to the this uh, garage door opener and you should be able to do the same thing. And it's pretty easy. And I'm using these um, breadboard uh, male to male wires because I don't need to worry about uh, you know, trying to shove the wires in there and stuff. It's uh, you know, I could just put in there uh, straight and it goes and it works. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the wire through that is hooked to my relay. Uh, just to put it through these. Uh, so put it through this support so it doesn't get yanked. And uh, so then I'm going to hook up. So here you need to make sure the garage door is open and uh, towards the end of it you need to install your ultrasonic sensor on the ceiling. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, right towards at the end of it. So now my sensor I'm going to say make sure it is hooked up at the end of it. Uh, somewhere close to it. So I'm using double sided tape to stick that on the uh, ceiling. And then I'm going to hook up the adopter and power up the node MCU. 
uh, with this uh, cell phone charger and uh, this is a temporary solution because I need to hook up both garage doors so now I'm gonna plug these two in and I'm going to just go ahead and test it out Alexa open garage door one Okay. Alexa, open garage door one. Okay. Alexa, close garage door one. Alexa, take out the trash. Okay. Alexa, take out the trash. So I'm using this controller, it's a version 7 and uh, it's basically um, useless for me uh, because it doesn't have any brakes and also um, it, it doesn't really work the way I want it to and um, if I want to um, switch the direction and it's not possible to do a quick switching and it's, it's a $10 uh, board, it may be good for other um, projects where you don't need braking and quick switching but other than that uh, this thing is useless I have different version of it and none of them works and that's why you see the trash can fall in at the end because of the I can't really control it much okay guys this is it for this tutorial uh, until next time bye let me know what you think and uh, see you in next uh, video